Hi, my name is Stacey Phillips. I'm from Shrewsbury, England, and I am a Lego minifigure photographer. My dad always taught me that photography is about controlling light. And light doesn't have to be anything fancy. Light can just be a simple desk lamp at home. So the first thing that you'll probably do, you'll put a minifigure down in front of a camera, you'll get your camera nice and low, and keep it at eye level to the minifigure so you really connect with the character. And you'll probably just start off putting the light kind of just on top of the figure. And this isn't really that interesting a lighting setup. There's lots of other things that you can do to make your shot much more interesting. You could shoot so that the light is behind the minifigure. So you've kind of got a sil, you're maybe creating a silhouette. And then you can change the color of your minifigure as well. So if you've got some foil, like this, so you've got some green colored foil here, you can bounce the light off of the foil and create a different kind of color. You could diffuse the light through paper or through tissue paper, because sometimes it can be a bit too bright. Or again, you can use the paper to kind of block off the light so that it only catches maybe the side of the figure. For this shot, I'm going to try and take a photo with my camera phone. So that's a completely different lens to my uh, DSLR camera. So we get a very different view. We can get much closer and get much more dramatic shots here. But then I'm also gonna try a complete silhouette When you're shooting your Lego photos at home, just keep practicing, playing around with light, and just make sure that you enjoy it and have fun.